Right then, look at that there, look. Water coming out through that little crevice there. So it's like a little waterfall, isn't it? And I've just walked down, I've got a bit wet because I had to sit on a stone a minute ago, but I'll dry out. I've just walked down through there, it was a bit, it's like I said, it's easier going up. I had walked sort of backwards, so I'm part of it. And then I got all this, of course the cliff where I was earlier is up the top there. And there's this bit scooped out here by the water. And if we follow just around there briefly, I think there's a little cave. We just have a quick a little look in there. I swallowed a fly and I've been wheezy ever since. <coughs> Tried to cough it up, it went into my lungs. Or somewhere like that, windpipe. Yeah, someone's been here pruning. But over just around this corner, cliff edge will be up there somewhere. Like I said, I'm sure it was here that the there used to be the waterfall. We just gently go down this bit and have a look. Oh, you do. You have to, have to take your time because well, you don't want to fall and break your camera, do you? Oh, or break anything else for that matter. And then all the way back, I can just nip through that bit there. You get another view of the gorge from over here as well. It's quite warm now. Oh, very wheezy now. I was alright until I fly. This is where the volunteers come out and do a bit of pruning. Actually, yeah, we can go down that way, look. So, so I came down through that gap there. Uh, and just round here, uh, there's an entrance to a cave. And I expect something lives in it, as long as it's not the Black Panther, we're all right, we? It's quite warm now in the sun. <coughs> See, some of these potholing people, apparently, they squeeze through gaps that big. Some of these potholers. <coughs> it seems to be sealed off there, but there's a way in that. But if you know your way around, you do it. It's a shelter for somebody, and it's dripping all bloody night now. <sighs> yeah, it's very beautiful here. Very peaceful. You can imagine the Stone Age people sitting under there, can't you, with a little fire? Nice and quiet, shielded from the wind, look. It's the sort of place you'd probably find the odd Stone Age axe or something like that here, or Bronze Age even. Yeah, like we said, although it's easier going up, you might think. It, it, that's more stress on your lungs, isn't it, going up? But going down is more dangerous, because I've got to negotiate all that yet. But there were some very, very large steps a minute ago that I... With my little legs, it was, um, I had to sort of... Turn the camera off for a little while and do that bit. Oh, what a 
good job I brought the wellies though, innit? Although I did catch one on some barbed wire, it seems to be okay. It was it was probably in an area which won't hit the water in, the water won't get that far. Unless I went up to my ankles in water. So when I get down there, I wander through a little bit of a valley, be able to look up and see the cliff top. And then turn left and do a bit of exploring up <coughs> a track I haven't been before. Here's a stream. So the cave's up there. I'm going to negotiate going down here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the camera off again now. This is just a short video. Well, I, I probably might need both hands. Just in case. Over and out.